Hi, this is Patty Bennett. I am back with another My Digital Studio video tutorial for you. Many of you have asked how I got this punch that looks like it's cropped on my blog header. Let's see, here it is on my blog right there. You can see that. So I wanted to show you how I did that because it's, it's a quick and easy little trick and it'll probably come in handy for you. Here's another example of that. This is the front and inside of a card I did and you can see the punch here that it's the same cropped image. So I just thought I would give you a quick tutorial on how to do that. So here is the page I was working on to get my blog header and I have it all ready to the point of putting in that punch. So I went over here and clicked on punches and then I clicked on modern label punch. It puts it right in the middle of the screen. You can see it's gray. I flipped it because I want it to go vertical and then I moved it over here into position, give or take, right there. And then to color it, I clicked on color fill and I'm going to actually do the color picker and I'm going to come in here to my Dusty Durango DSP and click on that. But then since I want it to be just a little bit darker, here's a tip for you. I click on the HSB, which is Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, and that little white circle indicates the color that it is right now. And then what I do is I click right below it just to a, a little bit darker, and I can always go in and change this, but I click a little bit darker on there and then say OK. So now it filled it with Dusty Durango but a little bit darker so that it shows against the paper. Uh, you know in stamping we have stamping off where we can always make our ink lighter but I love this in my digital, digital studio that you can make any color darker. Hmm, Cool huh? Okay then I added a drop shadow to the punch and I also added over here in Friends 24-7 in the stamp set, I put this Baroque image on there. I shrunk it way down and then I put it on top of the punched image. Scoot it over a little bit and under embellishments I added a black brad Oh, you know it would even be quicker? I can just click on this black brad and say copy and paste and then I can drag it over there. I'm just moving it with my arrow keys into place. Okay, so there's that tab and let's just go back over here to the finished one to remember what I wanted it to look like. I want to crop it. Okay, so back here to my working spot. What I did was clicked on background papers, designer series paper, um, script, and dusty Durango. But then I clicked on add as page layer because I want a little piece. So there's my piece and I'm going to double click it. I'm going to shrink it way down and click on OK. So now it's added this little piece here and I'm going to drag it up here and cover up my punch. I'm not going to go right down to that um, black piece because I want it to look like it kind of went up and over the edge and it folded. And then when I crop the entire image in Photoshop then I get this. So that's how you make a cropped punch. You just cover up part of the image. Sometimes it's a little easier depending on your background. Like on this one, it was really easy to just put a little piece of, um, I think that was old olive, to cover up the rest of the punch. With the one I just showed you, of course, that's a tiny bit trickier when you're trying to add a piece of the 
um, script background paper. So I'm going to click on it and see there it is. See I can move it away. That's it. It's just right there and I just covered a little bit of the punch. And then I'm going to crop the entire thing and I'll have my blog header. Well I hope that was helpful. Thanks for visiting. Let me know if there's anything else you want to hear about.